You are now tuned in to Not Without Alonzo. And uh, one of the current, the, the hot topics of the past couple of weeks has been the whole abortion bill down in Alabama. Now they're saying that Georgia's about to follow suit. And what are your thoughts on that? You know, man, when I think about that, uh, I think about, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a history buff. I'm a Same. documentary buff. I like all that kind of shit. And you hear scientists say, that based on their projections, if the way white people are dying and not reproducing themselves, there will be a minority in the United States by 2040, 40, something yeah. like that. Yeah. And uh, I think this is another way of them protecting their their race. And it can be very frightening to realize because, we're, you know, because of hip hop and other things, uh -huh. races, a lot of blending. Yeah. Okay. And that black gene is very dominant. Especially with your attitude toward black gene, all you gotta do is have one sixteenth black blood. You're a nigga. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> you're a nigga. You're a nigga. You're a nigga. You're a nigga. So if you got that right there, you know that takes a lot of blind eyed blue eyed babies off the you know mm -hmm. at, the, at the gene pool. Mm -hmm. So and you know and to tell somebody you can't have a you have you can't have an abortion in the event of incest. Or rape in Alabama? Come yeah. on, man! That's crazy. In Alabama? Yeah, yeah. This is in Alabama. Yeah. Cousin fucking and Pete and, uh, and Kyle Tiffin is the two fucking <laughs> two biggest activities. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so when you see shit like this, man, it, it really makes. It, it, and even for the Republicans, I'll, and, uh, and I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a political buff. You get in my car right now. I got on serious XM Urban View. Mm -hmm. I listen to this shit all, the, all day long. And for the Republicans of all people to be uh, to, to be uh, so hardcore on on a situation that's been settled years ago. Yeah, Roe versus Ro Wade. Roe Ro Ro versus Wade was mm -hmm. settled decades ago. But them motherfuckers don't go away. They just come back. They yeah. like they like roaches. They don't go away. They don't they don't take they don't take defeat very well at all. Mm -hmm. They cheat, they lie, they steal, whatever the case may be. And it's really sad to see that, you know, uh people, especially people who are in power, that they don't do anything that makes sense. They only do things that's, that's in their best interest. Mm -hmm. Personal interest. Not the interest of the country. Mm -hmm. And that's where it's fucked up at. Yeah. By personal interest, do you mean religion? Or do you it, think... And, and I understand even... Or going back to your point, you mean in religion or meaning the um, that they want to preserve the white race? The white race. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see it by religion. Mm -hmm. man. I mean, they use... They, they, cover, they cover a lot of what they think, say with religion, but I don't see uh, how you can have uh, Ku Klux Klan be, be, be labeled as a... A Christian organization, mm. and they are hanging and killing folks. God damn. Okay, mm -hmm. they, they, you know, they had a rally this weekend somewhere. I forgot where it was, but they um, had a rally, and uh, they registered themselves as a Christian organization. Mm. Okay, so because America has, you know, free, pretty much free reign when it comes to religion, they don't really block it unless you're a Muslim. Uh, they gave it to them. They and then they had the rally. They got guards and barricades, all kind of shit. And only nine of the motherfuckers showed up. Damn. Dude. They had 500 protesters, though. Yeah. Oh, shit. They had 500 protesters, but nine, maybe 10 people from the so-called clan showed up Damn. to be a part of the rally. So, that, you know, that's, that's, that says two things. One, whatever they do, they, uh, they only want to hide, throw rocks and hold, and they want to throw stones and hide their hands. And a lot of them don't want people to know who they really are. Okay. Mm -hmm. They not, you know, they want to be. They, they they may be in positions that could be useful to one side and detrimental to them on a personal side, mm. you know. And I think that's one of the things that uh, that's frightening because you don't know, you don't know what you're dealing with, man, until it's too late. Yeah. And they don't have any kind of. I've never seen any type of uh, background checks that would eliminate you from being a cop, a judge, a lawyer, if you were a clan member. Damn. They find the clan members after the fact all the time. He got a badge now. Mm. I'm trying to figure out oh, yeah. why didn't y'all do that beforehand? If he had a felony, you find out. Yeah. But you let him give a guy a gun and a badge, and then all of a sudden he puts a person in a bad situation. This man fears for his life. Well, one, the cops say he fears for his life, but he got all the, all the equipment. The, the, the empty handed man don't have the right to fear for his life. Mm. I mean, think about that, dude. Mm -hmm. At one point in time, 
when does a citizen have the right to defend himself? You don't know if this cop is rogue. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know this guy. He walks up to your car with a gun, and there's too many situations that's already developed that have put people in the grave, man, innocent as fuck. And then you get a fucking check. The family gets a check. Yeah. I don't want no fucking check for no, my kid. Yeah, no. I don't, 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 I be there. don't collect one on me. Yeah. Okay? Mm. All I want to do is go home like everybody else, man. Yeah. You know, everybody, I have family in law enforcement. You know, they say, man, I don't want, all we want to do is go home. Now, you got assholes out there that they gun hold, they've been bullied, whatever the case may be. They got their psychological issues. And uh, you got bullied with badges. You know, want people to dance on one leg and sing and shit, all kind of dumb shit. Mm-hmm. And get the fuck out of it with that. But then you got cats who see this. And then they won't say nothing about it. it Make you just as guilty. I know if I, if I, if as a citizen, if I see you commit a crime, and don't, if I'm we in, in the car, you commit a crime, I still get blamed for the motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Okay, if you got a gun in the car, until you step up, we both got a gun case. Yeah. Okay. If you rob a gas station and just I jump out that motherfucker and run it, um, we both, we, I'm an accessory. Mm-hmm. So how is it? A cop can't be an accessory to his guilty is. is, is partner committing crimes against yeah. citizens. We talked about that last time, and it all goes up to the whole cop wanted to be an attorney, attorney wanted to be a district attorney, district attorney wanted to be a judge, right. and they're not going to sacrifice themselves over this nigga right here. Right, right. Yeah. Right, you know, but you would think it would, well, if he was, <laughs> no, they ain't going to do that. They ain't going to do that. Yeah, no, it's scary, it's scary man. Going back to the, the abortion thing, um, actually, I want. what are your thoughts on abortion, just in, in general? Man, you know what? When I was younger, I had a different uh, opinion. As a grown man, um, I don't like to speak on it. I think it's a a woman's right to choose. Um, I have, as a real dude, back in the day, I'm responsible for for maybe one or two. Mm -hmm. And that's some fucked up shit, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm I'm telling you some real shit now. When you drop your girl off and you know what she's gonna do, usually y'all ain't gonna be the same no more. Never, it's not gonna be the same. Ain't gonna be the same no more. Mm-mm. Damn. Ain't gonna be the same no more. I mean, even you what could what what what, what do you tell her? Mm-hmm. Okay? Unless you got one of them bras that use it as a birth control. Right, yeah. Okay. But when you got a real girl and you know, most girls Look forward to having a baby, even if with your ass ain't with the damn school and everything that's moving, and they'll forgive all that right there for this kid, for the you know had this kid, and you either persuade them to or they decide not to because you ain't shit. <laughs> you pers- and she know you ain't shit. Sometimes and uh, I'm gonna have to do this right here because I can't be stuck with him forever. Yeah. And usually, when one thing happens, it triggers something else. Yeah, and uh, it's it's really. Uh, man, I can, I, all I can think of is the word awkward, mm-hmm. but it's really a fucked up situation. Let me ask you, because it sounds like something that to this day bothers you. Or not bothers you, but you still think about. Like, I don't know how long ago it happened, but do you every once in a while be like, damn, I could have a 24-year-old right now, or you know, how, however long it happened, you know, back in the day. Do, do, does that still pop up in your head? Do you remember the exact date, you know? Thing? No, you know, my brain don't work like that, but I know for me... Uh, one of my girls, um, we already had a kid together, and then she got pregnant again, and she decided now nah, we. And I, I knew we couldn't be together no more because, mm-hmm. you know, we were too stupid. Mm-hmm. You know, we can't do this no more. Okay, and that was the end. And you know, and we knew it. We knew we couldn't be together no more. As much as we liked each other, as much as we loved each other, we couldn't be together no more because. I was out there, I was crazy motherfucker. I was, yeah. doing my, I was doing a lot of those shit. And she was ready to settle down. And I wasn't thinking about it. It wasn't even close. Yeah. It wasn't <laughs> close, okay? So, you know, I think about my kids and the kids I don't have. I just thankful for the ones I do have. Mm, yeah. Know? I pray for the ones I don't have, but I'm thankful for the ones I do have. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's deep shit, man. I, um, I tried to talk my son's mother into an abortion up until the last minute and to this day I'm glad I didn't yeah yeah to this day I'm glad I didn't my son saved my life I mean 
Wow. Yeah, that's a trip, man. It's a trip. I tell them that story too. I'm like, I'm not ashamed to tell them. You know, I I was I want I wanted to have you aborted. Well, you know, me and a buddy of mine was talking the other day. A buddy of mine just got married, and uh, he said, I don't think I'm having a kid no time soon. I said, Let me, tell, let me explain something to you about this. I got five kids. I have never yeah. laid down and had sex with nobody with the intention of having a baby. Thank okay? you. Okay, that ain't nothing. Well, baby, let's go down. Let's get together. Yeah. Let's smoke this blunt, and we're gonna have sex, make a baby. No, no, yeah. no. Uh-huh. Negroes is fucking for recreation. Mm-hmm. Women are fucking for procreation. <laughs> Two different things. <laughs> Two different things. That's a deep ass okay? line right there. If you think your your girl is fucking for recreation, let some procreation jump off. Okay. Mm-hmm. She gonna keep, she nine times out of ten she gonna keep that baby, but she gonna give you the blues if she can't keep that baby. Okay. Oh, yeah. So understand that. Men recreation, women procreation. Cause he should have got you. Oh, he got some nice green eyes. Mm-hmm. Oh, he got that. Oh, he got that butter brown skin. Mm-hmm. Well, my baby gonna be cute. <laughs> okay, he gonna be a rap. My daddy gonna be a rapper. She in your corner. All she planning to kind of kid the whole nine yards. You, your dumb ass, think you doing something? Cause you got a little ass. Shit. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, man. Damn. Back to the uh, your, your concept of. The white preserving the white race because I find that so interesting. I heard someone else actually explain that today, like a, a week or so ago. A very popular um, radio host, and I, I I got to thinking about it and I was like, okay, I understand that, but the fact that us as black people were having abortions like at something like five times the rate that white people are, or something like that, right? I feel like like five to one or some some crazy number. We're we're having abortions. Isn't it in the racist white man's best interest for us to keep having abortions? Um if we wouldn't already usually after we have abortion, we already had two or three kids. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It usually when the in some cases, and of course, it's, nothing is absolute. But a lot of times, like I got four already, I can't take care of another one. Yeah. Okay. So we know already put our work in and populated the population, and you know it just it's it's just uh, hey, um, now it's about economics. You know, it becomes about economics, and whereas we we'll, we'll have two or three kids. Um, Women that have two or three kids, about three different men, no big deal. Mm-hmm. At four foot, it might be a little tight because I still got one on my hip now, okay? And that's the difference, mm-hmm. okay? Um, it, it definitely enhances the prison industrial complex because you don't have enough men around to teach boys how to be men. You're creating fuel for the system, okay? Um, you know, and, and, and that's just, you know, and unfortunately for us in America, we live in a capital, capitalistic society, and it's people over it's pro, profit over people all day long. Mm-hmm. Fuck everything else. It's profit over people. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. They don't care about how you know how your environment is, your, your education, your food. Uh, if if putting some sawdust in a burger is going to make make it ten percent uh, more profitable, mm-hmm. get them make a little trees, give them a little sawdust. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and that's real shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's cold. Now, I expected this coming from the Bible Belt, you know what I mean? Um, do you see this spreading across the country? No, right? I don't see it coming to California. Or... Uh, uh, California, all right, then fuck you. Yeah. And in fact, I saw a thing today with Netflix was like, all right, y'all go ahead and change it. We ain't coming up, we ain't fucking with y'all. Uh, in uh, Alabama, right? Yeah, Alabama. Georgia. Oh, yeah, Georgia. Okay, Georgia. Georgia. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Netflix is like, all right, go ahead. We will we, we, we make this investment. Mm. Okay? Yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah. it is what it is, Doc. I always remember them talking about this as a kid. Like, even since I was younger, back in the 90s, I remember them talking about abortion. And they were always um, fighting the Roe versus Wade thing. But is this the first time in history, it, from what I, I know, but maybe you're, you're older than me, so. But is this the first time in history where a law has ever been, it's been written, it's it's official? It was it was illegal to perform abor- abortions in the 60s, I believe it was. Yes. And that's when they had the, the alley abortion with the coat mm-hmm. hangers and shit, you know. And it was really fucked up. Women were dying, and that's the, that was the uh, one of the uh, reasons to pass Roe versus Wade because so many women had make, making a choice, but it wasn't safe. Mm-hmm. Doctors, you know, even not even doctors sometimes a motherfucker with a coat hanger just come back there, you know, and and do what they can do some damage, and you know, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's some sick shit, man. 